Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a clean with me, an extreme clean with me because my house was a complete disaster. It was filthy and I just needed a clean reset before Monday hit. Share some cleaning in the basement with you guys and also some decluttering. So if you want all of the cleaning inspiration on this Sunday morning, then just keep on watching. All right, you guys, so hopping into the cleaning in my basement. Now, in the background, I'm listening to Vampire Diaries because it has been my jam lately. I have like rewatched it so many times. I tend to do this. I just watch the same shows over and over again. Um, once in a while, I'll get into a new show as well, but I love me some Vampire Diaries. Friends is also a favorite, How I Met Your Mother, um, and things like that. Those are my absolute favorites, along with Sex in the City. That's another really good one. Anyway, so. I am cleaning my basement. I had torn out all of the bins from under the stairs in a different video, organized all of them, and I ended up just putting them back under the stairs for now, and I'm going to go through them one more time after the Christmas decorations are put away for the season. I just needed them out of the way. I needed a space for the kids to be able to go and play and have their own spot. Now, in this video, you'll be able to see that we are mid-renovation. <laughs> It looks a little scary down here. So we've got sheetrock like torn out. We had some insulation torn out that we just recently fixed. Um, we had a water leak. We had a pipe burst from outside, like our outside um, water line had burst. So we had a bunch of water damage down here. It was awful. We had to dry out the carpet. Thankfully we, we got to it like fast enough. So we were able to dry the carpet out and we just had to replace the rug pad. Um, but I did install the new rug pad myself. It, I will tell you what, water damage is no joke, um, especially when it's downstairs in the basement. Oh, I just got into all the sheetrock, so I had to tear out all that sheetrock and replace the insulation, which we just did. But the reason why we don't have sheetrock up yet is because we're actually renovating the entire basement now, we've decided. So right now there's this weird, awkward ledge on the side of the room and we're going to be um, actually sheetrocking it so that it's even and it does not have a ledge anymore because we plan to transform this space into a workout slash playroom. Um, so we're going to install our indoor gym um, down in the basement and, and then replace the sectional with a sofa. Um, just so that we can still have guests come over um, and stay on that couch downstairs in the basement if need be and also so that we were able to have some family movie nights downstairs but I'm excited to show the transformation of this space because right now it's kind of just dead space unless we've got guests over um, like if my family comes to visit my mom and my dad will stay in that room and then my sisters will stay on the couch downstairs so I'm excited to share a little bit of a transformation down here and how we plan to make it more useful for us and our family and make it still family room friendly but also like home gym friendly because these days with all of the craziness going on and the gyms opening and closing, you're just so much easier to work out at home. So did some organizing in the basement there and just kind of got it cleaned up for the kids. Now I recently just switched back to keto because I just always lose weight so easily with keto. Um, so I'm showing you a keto friendly meal here. Now I still plan to share Weight Watchers meals with you guys and try to get you points in regards to some of these meals, so bear with me, I am trying to make it all diet friendly um, and trying to keep them gluten free. So I'm doing some stuffed mushrooms here. I, I did a half a cup of cream cheese, about four ounces of cream cheese. Um, I did a half a cup of freshly grated Swiss cheese. And then I also did a half a cup of um, fresh grated Parmesan. And then I did some parsley and some salt in there and I'm filling the mushrooms with that filling. It's so good. Um, all you need to do is toss them into a pan with about a tablespoon of avocado oil there in the bottom and just let them simmer and cook all the way through and throw a um, cover on it. It usually takes about 15 minutes or so and they are good to go. Um, and I am making butter burgers. So I honestly, I had kind of a bad day today and I was like craving a burger, but I'm trying so hard to lose the rest of this weight 
and instead of caving and ordering like some Culver's Butter Burgers, if you guys have not had Culver's Butter Burgers, they're so good. Um, but instead of caving and ordering in burgers, I decided to do my own keto version of the burgers. So I took a pound of hamburger and I split it into four. I patted them and I put them on my skillet. Um, here you can see me putting the mushrooms into the pan like I was mentioning earlier and then I just toss a cover on it. You don't need to flip them, nothing. You just let them cook all the way through with that, with that cover on. Just make sure that your heat is down low enough so you don't burn your mushrooms. And then I'm seasoning the burgers with a little bit of salt and pepper. Now the key to butter burgers is towards the very end you want to toss some um, butter on there and really like crisp up the edges. And I was trying to make these like nice and thin because Culver's has like super like thin has like super thin burger patties so I was trying to mimic it as best as I could but you guys these are so good um, I am trying to like get more dairy free if I'm gonna be doing keto um, on keto I do tend to have a little bit more cheese and um, butter but I still try to stay away from milk so I'm actually going to try um, switching to a plant butter and then just trying to cut out cheese which is going to be kind of hard Hard and just letting myself have like maybe one meal with cheese per week slowly but surely I will be working my way towards a dairy-free keto lifestyle I just feel so much better on keto my head is clear my mood is better and my weight loss is incredible I've lost five pounds in the past week on keto and I'm super excited to share the rest of the results with you guys um, I will be doing a weight loss series starting at the end of December as soon as we get out of the holidays I know a lot of you focus on weight loss as well and health overall which I think is so important especially if we're all gonna be quarantined here over the winter um, I think that mental and physical health is super important so I'll be sharing some of those things here on my channel with you guys because you know I like to keep it real and motivational and transparent so all the things in the uh, near future for you guys but anyway I am going to let you enjoy the rest of this video um, I am gonna pop back in because I <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. Um, just wait till you see it uh, later on in the video. But um, I'm just getting all of my cleaning off of my to-do list, cleaning the entire house over the next week, making it sparkly, shiny, clean, and organized, and all the ki all the kids' clothes have gone through all of the things. It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright Good man inside did everything that you thought you should. Didn't seem to do you any good. Ooh, I know you've tried so hard. Ooh, I know you've done. It's not fair You did your time How much longer will you suffer in this life? But don't give up Just hold on tight It'll be alright
close your eyes Get some rest I'm by your side Lay your head on my chest In this video clip, this is the moment I realized the dishwasher was broken again. I, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was almost crying right here because I just, right before Thanksgiving, having my dishwasher break again, like there was no power, like it would not turn on at all. I checked the breaker, I tried to see if it was like unplugged and I just felt so defeated. And if you guys can't tell in the background, like, it was almost nine o'clock by this point and I was not able to get everything done until close to 10 o'clock. So I just felt so defeated. I mean, and Mike felt so bad for me. He was working on a project out in the garage. He had an order that was due the next day. So when you guys are watching this, he had an order that he had to go and install today. So he couldn't stay inside and help me and he felt so bad. And it's just, we just had kind of a bad day. It just was one thing after another, but we always choose to look on the bright side of things and we say, you know what? like. Those things might be kind of crappy, but it's life, it's real life. We have a roof over our heads, we have food in the fridge and in the cupboards, and the kids are healthy, we are healthy. So at the end of the day, you gotta push through it. You know, it's just, let yourself cry it out a little bit. I definitely did today. I had some tears over some of the things that just were not going our way. And then I moved on and then I and then I chose to look on the bright side. So a little bit of motivation for you guys if you're going through a tough time or just or you're just having a bad day and it just nothing's going your way. Think tight, you'll get through it, push through it. Make sure that you are setting yourself up for a better day tomorrow. You guys know that I always, always suggest that. If you're having a bad day, just set yourself up for a better one tomorrow. So anyways, I am cleaning the stove here as well because I made an absolute mess. Last week when I did my um, Thanksgiving cook with me, I made such a mess. Like the gravy spilled over, just oh, it was so gross. So I like to use a little bit of dish soap on my stove top and then I will use a sponge. And then I also have like a dish scraper that came from Pampered Chef. I've had this forever, um, ever since I lived with like college roommates. I think one of my roommates actually gave it to us, but 
Um, anyways, it works wonders for like scraping off some of that like dried on just ick. Um, and then I'm just taking a towel after I have all of the gross like food chunks taken out. I take a towel and just kind of like get all of the gunk off. And then I take a paper towel because I'm out of my European dish claws right now from Grove Collaborative. Those are my absolute favorites. Um, but I am taking a paper towel and I am drying it off and then I go over it one more time with my homemade like kitchen cleaner. It's just a little bit of vinegar and hot water and then the Thieves essential oil. Um, and I just spray my oven down and I will use a paper towel to shine it up really good. And this cuts the grease and those like smears, those like like smears in the um like on the oven plates and stuff it just helps to get everything off and make it nice and shiny so all right guys i'm going to let you enjoy the rest of the video and i hope you enjoy the cozy christmas lights vibe it's definitely like my favorite when i'm cleaning at night and it's quiet in the house the kids are in bed and the christmas lights are on when i have like a little bit of a show going on in the background it's so therapeutic That is gonna wrap it up from me for this video. I hope you enjoyed the cleaning motivation, the disgusting house that I have. Oh my gosh, it has just been a complete disaster the past few days. So I hope I gave you all of the cleaning inspiration and motivation that you guys needed to kick off your week with a clean house so that you can start out with a fresh, clean plate. There's nothing better than coming downstairs in the morning to a clean kitchen. Doesn't that look so cozy? Oh, it's my favorite. All right, guys, I will see you tomorrow for 24 hours with two kids a full day in a life with me all right I will see you tomorrow bye guys <laughs>